Welcome to Pat's Cast, the unofficial Regina Pat's podcast. This is our episode for December 2nd, 2018. I'm Matt. I'm Chris. Messi gets it on on Rumble. He's got Crane with him, two on one. Messi across the blue line into the slot back for Messi. And he scores! Carter Messi! His first in the league! Set off. Back to Joseph Rumble. Moore steps a shot and scores! Jake Joseph! His first is a bat! And we got a game! Joseph in the right circle now. Wrist shot, Patsy rebound, scores! Ty Cole got a goal in his first game with a bat. Javinsky doing the right medicine at corner. Centers and they score! Sergei Okamov, hold my beer! It's gonna get hairy! Okay, so uh, this was uh, a 3-3 three and three weekend that we're gonna recap here. Uh, a bit of a new look team uh, after the big trade. You can listen to our last episode if you want to hear our thoughts about that. We won't dwell on that. It's it's time to move on and, uh, yeah, talk about a new team, and we got to see them here. Really, this, I mean, overall, this was kind of a, a tough weekend when you look at the, the stats sheet and the score sheet, but when you think about these new guys that came in here, Joseph and Cole, rolled right in and really had no practice, new team, rolled into Brandon and... Ultimately, I mean, it was a 5-1 game, but it it wasn't as bad as the, the score indicated. I think I think this team had a lot of potential excuses that they could this whole weekend really they could pull on and uh, and give some excuses. But overall, I was happy with the effort shown this weekend, at least. Yeah, to come out of that brand game, it wasn't bad at all. It was just again just some mental mistakes and mental breakdowns but i mean they got a power play goal so that's nice you know that's probably one of the toughest things to get going with new guys is a power play like yeah and they're both out there yeah exactly right <laughs> so both on power play one so you know it the effort was all right there you know and and as most of you seen the pa game i thought it was probably quite possibly the best game of the weekend i would say so yeah yeah, especially since what we were <laughs> what we were expecting. Yeah, and they had a great effort. You know, like it was three two with like five minutes to go in the game and they got a couple late. But I mean yeah. we were we stayed with them. They didn't outplay us or anything. No. The first half of the Medicine Hat game was good. Yeah. Um Medicine Hat really pushed it in the second period and then the third period they they controlled us and they looked much better. Yeah, it was so. about halfway through the second. Even late in the first, they had a pushback, good pushback near the end of the period. So. Yeah. But um, the second was okay, but yeah. So I think, yeah, that PA game, I think, was pretty good, especially considering the circumstances right. of who we're playing. So, Well, let's, let's recap Brandon. Um, gave up the first goal again. <laughs> it wasn't as early as it it's six minutes in so um still uh, the first goal giving that up again that's that's tough um the the power play goal to tie it up though was nice um again though we gave up st- yeah i gave mean, up breakaway it was yeah uh, P- the guy came out to make a play in puto he and he keeps it in but Brandon picks it up, and the guy just coasted into the neutral zone. Like, he shouldn't have been out there. Like, he just coasted right past Puto. Yeah. And all of a sudden, boom, he's on a breakaway. Yeah. But yeah. Alcamon hit the post early in that game. Like, uh-huh. you know, he was snake bitten. He, he's, well, he had gone 12 games until tonight against Medicine Hat, but yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, again, some penalty trouble, giving up seven. Um, and just bad times, like yeah, like we had a five on three, and we took a two, too many men penalty. Like that, yeah, oh, that can't <laughs> happen. Oh, like oh man, that's. Oh. At least we only gave off one goal. On yeah, the, on no, the penalty kill has been better. It's, I heard Phil say it was eighty uh, percent over the yeah. last six games. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, around eighty for the last. And so we've moved up from the basement. Like Brandon was in the basement, uh, we had moved up. Um, we're ahead of uh, a couple teams now. Moose Jaw, Kootenai, and Brandon now. Wow. After tonight, we moved us. up. 
So. Minusculely, <laughs> percentage-wise, but I mean, technically, we're not. We're fourth last, so. Yeah. Yeah. But you can tell we have we're not giving up multiple. No. Play goals in a no, game no. now. We're only giving up like one. Like Brandon was one, PA was one, and tonight was none. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, still a couple goals. Paddock let in that were a little. Yeah, a couple weak ones. A little definitely. weak. Like there was the wraparound and thinking, it, just wraparound shouldn't. Yeah, but yeah, and then there was another one on the ice five hole. Like on the ice five hole. That's yeah. That can't be happening. I yeah. don't think. Like so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought the fourth line, the Messi, Wright, and Dubinsky line looked decent out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, they looked good. But then they went and changed up that line. Uh, they took uh, Messi off, I think, and then they had Alkamov on that line in uh, PA and Mesonet games. Okay. Yeah. It, there's. We're probably going to see. We we've been seeing it all year, really, other than that top line, uh, Pratt, position Henry. Yeah, that was well, the only consistent line all year. Yeah, especially with the injuries and stuff, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. And now it looks like. Cole and Joseph are rolling right into the top line, and uh, they're going to stay together. Seems like it. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, but we're going to see quite a bit of shifting around of lines. I would I would hope that eventually there's a bit of consistency. Yeah. I mean, I, you need to let these guys gel a little bit. You can't expect results that quickly, but um, I don't know. We'll see... See what Stroosh decides to do with that. Yeah, we also had a four-minute power play later <laughs> in that, and the guy took two penalties there on one play. Yeah, and uh, we yeah. couldn't do anything. We had no chances. I don't think. Not we, even. Couldn't. Yeah, we couldn't even. It's zone time. It was zone time. Yeah, yeah. It was a bad four-minute um, power play. So. Yeah, and they and they have the worst penalty kill. Like we said, it's just you ha- you have to jump on those opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, overall, uh, it wasn't bad. Obviously, not great losing five to one, but it wasn't a five to one game. Didn't feel like it. Yeah, no, it didn't feel no. like a five to one game. Yeah. Uh, and then rolling into Saturday nighter against PA. Yeah, we had no expectations. Like it's no. like like I was going to that. I was like, well, oh, let's watch PA and the best team. In the yeah, country. I was actually. Well, I was excited to see them, and then I was actually a little taken aback. I, I was disappointed that they did not look like the best team in the country. I don't know if they were playing a bad game. We haven't. I haven't seen them enough to know what style of game they play, but uh, you see the occasional highlights uh, on CHL Twitter and whatnot, and you see these really nice tic tac toes and the and everything like that. And they had one nice tic tac toe against us, but really they did not look good. They were, I don't know, I don't know if they were playing down to us or if we played a really good game. It's it's tough to tell, but uh, they did not look fast. And I'm I'm recalling back to when we had our 52 win season and we had odd man rushes over and over and yeah. over, and it was just like. Shooting gallery, we'd put up 55, 60 yeah, shots exactly, sometimes. Right? <laughs> this PA team did not look like that. So I don't know if they played really poorly or what it was, but um, either way, I was really happy with our effort. Yeah, and actually, I, I, mean, I was fairly happy with the effort the whole weekend. They, The Pats, they were grinding and they were winning battles. And I don't know. But to get the first goal, that was that was pretty fun. Yeah, I enjoyed that definitely. Um, I Mass- thought the whole first period was good. I think we we won the first. Yeah. I would say it was just that bad penalty right at the yeah. end. Yeah, yeah. It was and that got him right back in the game. Yeah, you know, yeah. Late goal, thirty seconds to go in the period. Yeah, Kyle Walker with the the and roughing. Yeah. But, um, that being said, it was a. A really well disciplined game. We only gave up. We actually took less penalties than them in this instance. Yeah, we only exactly. took three. Yeah. And I would have expected a team with the speed and skill of PA, we would be drop. resorting. Yeah. Resorting to clutching and grabbing and hooking and tripping and <laughs> everything else that we're, we've been known to do so far. So uh, 
overall a really well played disciplined game um yeah the, you didn't see the like the m mental mistakes like we didn't give up too many like those odd man rushes or no you know no, like odd ones but penalties. not if there was the, the the defenders played them well and it was a fun game honestly yeah. it was a good yeah i it was an enjoyable game to be at and i think um with the expectation of not winning and just and wanting to see a good game we, we it had was a, a good, good game. game yeah it was yeah. entertaining yeah absolutely right. yeah so and i think that's kind of where we're at right now is just looking for entertaining games but yeah um, and like joseph gets that goal to make it 3-2 in the yeah. third period that three was a two. nice shot like beauty like <laughs> uh and i guess there was shoulder they were saying that was the screener yeah he's screening he's, there he's so doing this, he's the high or in front guy on the power play now like he was doing that for a little bit earlier in the year and he, they're going back to that now i guess and you know shoulder we've he's been here a while now and we've seen him kind of be the last pairing or that the seventh man out or kind of moving up and down and then up and then he's moving up and now he's he's essentially the captain of this team really yeah. one of them he's been here the longest i'm really pretty happy and impressed with his play and i think it's only going to get better now that he's being really thrust into the well yeah with him playing forward playing yeah defense playing forward and defense at the same game yeah like he's all over the place yeah you can't he's can't, uh, uh he's really stepped it up he's a nice surprise i didn't really expect it but um all the things this team's going through he's i like him yeah I, no definitely yeah. he's playing a solid game and um yeah jane joseph with his first goal as a pat both these guys, Cole and Joseph, have kind of just come right in and no no practices, right? Like Yeah, exactly. Maybe and a morning skate there, but maybe not. And they've seemed to kind of I come. I think they're just skilled, good players and not a bad return, really. Because we could have just ended up with nobody, yeah, like exactly. literally nobody, and just picks. And then the rest of this year would have been really bad. But yeah, I think we'll get into that a little bit later, comparing yeah. this other big yeah. trade. And uh, overall, I was, it was a good game. We thought we, you and I were sitting there, and we thought we kept Brett Leeson off the score sheet, but he got that first one. And when I went and watched the highlights, I just we must I must not have heard his name. Yeah. On the. On the. Uh, yeah, he did get a goal. He yeah. Got that first part. Yeah. Too goal. bad, but he was not uh as dominant as i had expected yeah. he is a big physical good player you can tell but yeah. we we did hold him in check for the most part and we part. didn't give up a shorthand or a shorthand goal yeah. so that's yeah good. <laughs> we we lowered their plus minus on the, on yeah. the penalty kill yeah because we got one because yeah, we got a power play goal so they're only plus five now on on shorthanded yeah so and you know this game we had some good chances too yeah. We could have had, I don't know if we could have won, but it, it was close. Like, there were some bounces that yeah. could have gone our way. Tried to jam that one in, yeah. and Scott just kept his pad down. He had three good whacks at yeah. it. He yeah. just couldn't couldn't get it going. Uh, yeah. No, I don't know. Like it, it was, I don't know if they played down. They just came in and thought they'd roll easily, but they didn't, in my opinion. No, no, not at all. No. And so. McNabb played real well in that game. Right. Yeah. I want to do. I do want to mention he played really well. Yeah. I, in my opinion, when we were sitting there, I was looking, and there's this. I'm not trying to promote it, but there's a, some ex obscure betting site that I found that has <laughs> WHL lines, <laughs> and it was uh, the over under was seven, and I was thinking that's for total goals. I'm thinking, oh, it's blown out of the water. Then when I saw McNabb was starting, I thought, oh, God, I should have taken that bet. <laughs> so this is why I'm not a betting man, because I would have <laughs> lost. I would have lost, yeah, because I, I don't think if it's – you're betting at over oh, seven. Oh, yeah, it was five, five, two, right? Yeah, so. but I don't think it's – I think you have to win. It's yeah. win or lose. There's no pushes. So anyway, I would have lost, and, but he played really, really well. Um, Funny, if anyone's interested, the money line was – Minus 667 for the Raiders and plus 332. So that means you would have had to bet. 
you would have to risk over six hundred and sixty seven dollars to win one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and if you would have had to win or sorry, risk a hundred to win three hundred and thirty two for the Pats to win. Yeah, it's not a so, very good return on the Pats. No. No, not higher. even. And you would have to risk so much <laughs> betting on a PA win. Oh yeah. Well, because it was such a given, right? I know, but so. oof, that's a lot of money. Anyway, uh, it was a great game. I was, I, I was happy with the outcome. They were three two with what five minutes left, yeah. and then it, that third goal up. I jotted down. Like there was, like we're not here to get on the rest, but they missed two bad calls on that one play within seconds of each other. Yeah, that led to that because they they called the exact same like uh, interference call. Yeah, on PA. Mm-hmm. The exact same thing happened. Alkamov got taken out. Yeah, and then the exact same thing happened. Even like more blatant. And then in my Dubinsky. Opinion. It happened right in front of us in the corner. Yeah. And then Dubinsky got interfered with in the neutral zone, and that that play right that play led right into the goal. Yeah, and it was it was yeah. pretty disappointing because they had called it. It was like okay, they called that call. Let's just keep the standard going, and they mm-hmm. didn't. Yeah, they, they could have called. Either one. One of or those. the other. Like yeah, ugh, I know. Yeah, I'm not expecting to make every single tic tac play but or call but i mean it was pretty very very similar to the play that they did call a penalty so yeah it was kind of confusing is why they didn't call one of those and in in a pretty tight game too right like yeah like it was a 2-1 game right yeah so but yeah yeah that was a little that was a little tough to take you know because we we worked so hard and you know yeah <sighs> yeah yeah yeah, but overall, uh, happy with the effort in that game. Really happy, actually. Like, yeah, they again they had every excuse not to show up, and they did. They had their backup goaltender, two new guys, no practices, lost, just lost their captain and an alternate. Um, yeah, and then throughout the game, uh, Evans goes down. Yeah, right in that first period, in the first period. So then you're running five D. One of your better D man. Your top pairing. Yeah. One of your got top guys is down. So, um, no, if, if this is what we're going to get the rest of the year, then I'll, I can, I can watch that kind of hockey. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it was, it yeah. was a good game. Yeah. Uh, a little different feeling tonight. Um, so the three, two loss against medicine hat. This was, this one just kind of sucks. <laughs> We should have won this. We had this game, it felt like, at one point. I know. But then I think we just tried to, we were hanging on for too long. Yeah. It was tail end of the first. You and I were sitting there, okay, let's get through this last couple of minutes where we're just, we need a bit of yeah, a break. Yeah, because that came on there at the end of the first there. They had a couple yeah. of good chances. Yeah. Yeah. But then it was 2 nothing after the first. Great. Or, yeah, 2 nothing. We scored two in the first. Um, the second period, I think, We'll call it a draw, but starting to definitely lean a little bit heavier towards Menace and Hat. Yeah. And then third period. Yeah, they took over the third three period. Three goals. And we just, we didn't have much, much in that third period. And uh, th- yeah, this one's too bad. Like, I thought they were, they were playing certainly in the first period well enough. If they would have kept that up, we could have come out with the win, but um, just couldn't do it. And you know, uh, Again, Hollett, last time he was here, didn't look fantastic. He didn't look overly great tonight. Yeah, he gave up some rebounds, and we capitalized yeah. in that uh, first period. Um, well, that one, I think, went off his glove that Pratt tapped in with the open net. Kind of mm-hmm. went off his glove or whatever. He didn't, couldn't get a handle on it. Yeah. And uh, But then he he tightened up, right? Like, same as the last time. He looked shaky early. Yeah. And then he was, then he was much better the rest of the game. And same thing tonight. So weird game, no power play goals for either team. So no. helps and help. They had a, a they had a couple of good chances late. Yeah. In the later, uh, I think the last one, the Nyhoff, that was a bad penalty too, that he took. Yeah. But they had a couple of good chances, but hey, we kept them out. We so. had some good chances shorthanded too. Yeah, We'd we actually have, we had going back to PA. Nyhoff had that breakaway. Yeah, true. Like, yeah, our our PK is definitely picking up a little bit which is nice yeah. um paddock played pretty good a good enough yeah. to win at least they I got think. the post game they said it's a 
another bounce back game. It seems yeah. like he's every other game almost now. Like he has a bad one, then he has a good one. Like so. Yeah, it'd yeah. be nice. You need to just need a bit more consistency. Out yeah, of yeah, that would be nice. Like. Um, little shout out to Cylinder. Cole Cylinder, nice. He set nice up that play. second goal. That was a nice, nice play. play. Nice for, pass for a young player. Yeah, to have that sort of um, the comp. He's getting like run over basically, and just yeah, had that just composition to sneak down and and then continue the play and nice pass over. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can see his nice. skill, first round talent. Like, yeah, he's gonna be a good player in this league. Yeah, he will, for sure. He will be. Um, do you know what? Another thing, the crowds this weekend were nice. Both yeah. both games were good. Like PA was sixty two and tonight was fifty two. Yeah, so. and sixty two in that building is noticeable. Like it was, yeah, you could full. see it was, like, it was nice. And yeah. there was a few PA fans that kind yeah, of there was quite a few PA fans. Yeah, and I don't know if they had a bus that came down or whatnot, but yeah, I think when your team's that successful, it, you get a little bit extra support. Definitely, it looked like a it it looked like a bus or something, but. Either way, uh, and they yeah, had a lot of school some old kids. school jerseys yeah. looking around. The old uh, quote-unquote racist one. Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not culturally sensitive ones. But, uh, yeah, no, they're, so they're, they're getting their support, which they definitely deserve. And then uh, tonight's game, Teddy Bear Toss. Always fun. I missed the one last year, so uh, it was fun to see. Um, they do it all over the league. It seems to be pretty... Yeah, no, that successful. was fun. So Good early, quick goal. So that was yeah, nice. I know we're all. I, I had my son there, and he was kind of ramming around. I actually missed the goal, so I just picked up the bears and went through it. And yeah, no, it was fun. I think I heard over seventeen hundred. Yeah, I said with the fifty-two hundred attendance, I thought well, that should be maybe a little more, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But well, that's uh, good. Seventeen hundred. That's quite. That's a, a lot of darn things. teddy bears. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big ones too. Like. Yeah, yeah. So it seems like everyone has fun with it, and yeah. uh, every team gets to do it. So that's for a good cause. It's a bit so. of a delay, but every team has to go through yeah. it. Yeah, so. every every team does it. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, this game—it's too bad. This one I thought we could have had, and we should have had, uh, just kind of fell apart. And I, you know, a good sort of indication is that the shots in the third, eighteen to eight, for the hat. So yeah, just sort of a indicator of how that game was starting to slide away. Yeah, so. like that last goal they scored, we we had a chance and it haul it like blockered it out, and three guys got stuck. Deep. Yeah, three forwards got stuck deep, and then it was a four on two, and it was a nice passing play, and they finished it off no problem. Yeah, like he could have passed it right there was or like left. Too low. Yeah, he could have went either side. Triangle. Paddock yeah. was just like, oh, uh, <laughs> he <laughs> had no chance. It was tough. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Props to Madison Hat for coming back. They they battled back after being down though. So yeah, I think it was a three and three for them as well this weekend. So yeah, yeah, both so. teams and it, and the game had some good pace to it. It like, did, yeah. Uh, like even in that third period, like on that goal, like we both teams kind of went back and forth on that play. Like it was back and forth, a couple odd man rushes each way, and yeah. and then Madison Hat ended, ended up finishing it. So yeah. Yeah, so that's a recap of the weekend. Uh, looking forward to next week. It's you know it's kind of a brutal time for us in our schedule. So obviously the long road trip, uh, big We've trade. Got a few days <laughs> off. Yeah, we had, it's not that it's that hard. Yeah, days off are okay. We got the but days off, but then the trade really trade throws a wrench. Now in the three and three, a couple home games, fine. But now we're on the road again for a little mini roadie here. Uh, Alberta swing. Yeah, three and four days, so. Yeah, so rolling into Edmonton on Wednesday. Uh, you were talk. We were talking about this before. I was wondering when they would leave. Edmonton's, that's a pretty long drive. Yeah. I wonder what they'll do. Eight plus hours, so. They, but. I don't think they'd leave Monday. I think they'd probably leave Tuesday. You don't think they'd leave Wednesday? Uh, no, no, no. That's too long. Not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wouldn't think so. Okay. Uh, so we've played Edmonton before. They beat us. Again, if you're watching this game, their main guy to look at is Trey Fix-Wolanski, second in scoring. Um, 
we we held him fairly in the check. He didn't run all over us last time, but no. But he had a quiet four assist night. R- like, oh yes, right. He didn't like. Yeah, he was doing his thing, but he he was he didn't stand out a ton. It yeah. Was just, yeah. He, he did rack up four assists that night, though. I remember. But yeah, he's a distributor, a puck distributor. Yeah, yeah. he's not gonna. He's, he's not too flashy, but watching the highlights, they just played uh, PA. They were home against PA, and he had a hat trick, and he, oh. he had a couple real nice snipes. Okay, like one was like he came over the blue line, like it wasn't even top of the circle; it was further out yet, and he sniped a top corner over Scott. So he yeah. did have a real nice night against PA. Uh, that was I don't can't remember what night it was. Just just recently, mm-hmm. like maybe mm-hmm. last Wednesday. It was a midweek game. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, he had a real nice night against PA. All right, and then we're into Red Deer. So Red Deer's made a few changes. They're they're looking to make a bit of a push here. Um, they actually took PA to it was a close game against the two of them recently. Yeah, they yeah PA was in Red Deer right before yeah. that Edmonton game. Yeah, yeah, they were on their Alberta road swing. Um, so PA or sorry, uh, Red Deer expected to be there in the in the mix of things near the end of the season, I think. So it could be a tough game. So they just made a big trade as well. Um, kind of a little bit overshadowed by our, the Regina Lethbridge trade, but yeah, they must have been like, "Oh, Lethbridge is loaded up, so we better do yeah. something now." Right? Yeah, so. yeah. So Lethbridge, I think, started started things off a little bit earlier, but then maybe expected. But they were saying they wanted to do it before their uh, U.S. road trip, and um, their coach left for. World Juniors, but anyway, sorry, I digress. Why don't you go over that Red Deer trade? Yeah, like, they got a couple guys out of Kootenai, so not surprising that Kootenai's selling off. Um, Brett Davis and Cam Housing- Housinger. Like, they don't have terrific numbers, but, I mean, they're playing on Kootenai, so, like, yeah, they haven't scored many goals, so, you know, stats aren't there. Brett Davis is a drafted, I don't know if he's signed, but he's a drafted player. Um they're both 19, so just rentals here. Well, possibly 20-year-old, but... Uh, and then they gave up four picks and a conditional. So a first, a second, a third, and a sixth um, Yeah, for these guys. And then looking at the players they gave up, like, like you know, we got a couple decent guys in return from mm-hmm. Lethbridge. Mm-hmm. Well, these guys that... Uh, Redger gave up, like, they have, like, three goals. <laughs> combined? Combined. <laughs> career. So they're... Like, a they're couple are young. A couple are 17, so I don't okay. know. And they've both played, so they must have asked for a trade. I think uh, that's how it's supposed yeah. to go, right? Yeah, right. They got an 18-year-old, and then they got a 15-year-old, so he's obviously unsigned. So, but I mean, yeah, there's, like, no substance really there that they got in return mm-hmm. and but i mean the picks the picks aren't bad like, no no yeah no no yeah i meant uh player wise no yeah. substance yeah. much there but yeah they got some picks so but i mean those guys don't have the you know the numbers that our guys did when we when we made the trade right so and i don't i haven't been following red deer too closely but even just looking they only have one guy in the top 20 of scoring Hagel, right? And he's yeah. he's fifth, but then they don't have anyone, so... Yeah, Jeff DeWitt's the next guy. He's got 19 goals, but right. he's only got 10 assists, so... Yeah. We all, we're familiar with him, so... Yeah. And then their defenseman, Alex Alexiev, he's right there in 29 points. So they have well. more of a defensive team, or...? I don't know, like... Uh, well, they're going to overtime with Lethbridge right now. Ooh. 4-4. Four, four. Um... Regardless, so they needed to make some moves if they want to make a a push. They're they're sitting at seventeen and nine, so they're kind of on that. They're in a okay spot, but yeah, I guess they want to make a move. So yeah, like they've they scored hundred goals, so they're uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh in scoring. Okay, and they've given up ninety one. Just well diversified. Yeah, they they kind of <laughs> score a lot and. They spread it around. They give up quite a bit too, though. Okay. So, well, 
their last or their first in the central in goals against. Everybody's over a hundred goals against in the central. That's looks like the weakest division that way. That way. Um, so we're playing them Friday, and then back back to Medicine Hat or playing Medicine Hat again on the Saturday. Again, yeah. Okay. So. We all know what to expect from them. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a 60-minute effort and get a win yeah, there. Yeah, I think that's a winnable game. So, uh, yeah, what do you want? It's going to be tough. Red Deer's going to be tough. tough. And so. I think it's the same as this weekend. I think we can hope for a win. Against Maybe Medicine a loser Hat. point in there, too? <sighs> I don't We can't even get a loser point. <laughs> like, know. tonight, we can't even bust. We can't even know. scrape together a loser point. I hate the loser point, but, I mean. It's point, point's it a point, a point right now. It's a point, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, like we can't even make it to overtime. Like we just yeah. couldn't be, get there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're saying one in three? Yeah, uh, one win. You know, maybe get a couple of practices in here, get the new guys gel in, and uh, yeah, you know, yeah, fair get enough. Some practice and get going here. Okay, I'll go with that too. Um, so that wraps about our the next uh, next few games coming up in the week. One thing we want to bring up is. So we're going to do a little, I don't know how official it'll be, but we're going to do the unofficial Regina Pats podcast, road unofficial trip. road trip, <laughs> <laughs> fan road trip. Uh, we're going to make the journey out to Moose Jaw for that December 15th game. It's a home and home. So that's going to be kind of a fun weekend. Uh, it's kind of celebrating our, both of our birthdays actually are on the same day, which is odd, but it honestly is. Um so that's our birthday weekend that we'll be celebrating. So, yeah, if anyone, we'll tweet it out and we'll try and promote it a little bit. But uh, it'd be nice to, if we get a few tickets together and sit together, if anyone else is going out, wants to uh, probably join us for some drinks and whatnot before and after maybe. But um, I'm staying the night. I don't know if you... I don't know yet. We'll okay. see what happens. Yeah. Most likely, I think. Yeah. So I had a gift certificate to use up at a hotel. So, um, yeah, just get that out there. It'd be kind of fun. Hang out with some people, do some cheering and jeering. See how that goes, man. Moose Jaw is hot. Right yeah, now. we were talking a little bit about next last episode, but God, they are really pulling it together for <laughs> a team that lost a lot of major players, and they yeah. made some moves and they sold a little bit last year, but they still look. They're yeah, playing no, really well. Uh, they're fourth in the league if you go by win percentage because they've played quite a few games less than okay. a bunch of the yeah. top teams. Yeah. So And they beat Red Deer. Yeah, right? they just beat Red so Deer. They the lost team. tonight to Calgary. Yeah. But they did beat uh, Red Deer, which is impressive, right? So. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. So, yeah, I thought we'd get that out there. Uh, see if we can get a little little group together. That'd be fun. Yeah, they ha they've they been having attendance issues again. Yeah. Like, they had tennis problems last year with the best team in the, the league anyways yeah so but i think they sold more ticket season tickets this year they than did last. some more season tickets but i think the crowds are still pretty i don't think they're getting maybe the walk up this year as much but yeah it and sounds like they're not you know people blame the parking we went to we went to a playoff game there last year remember yeah and it was busy. It was packed, oh right? Because yeah. it's playoffs, so then everyone yeah. shows up. Yeah, yeah, but the first round against, or we, second we, round. We first parked game. like down the street somewhere. It was it fine. It was a bit of a jaunt. It wasn't bad. It was no further than we park at Branson or though. Yeah. But at least right? it was nice out. It was warm out, right? Yeah. Imagine doing <laughs> that. Well, I did go to the uh, US, or sorry, the Canada Russia series. And yeah. It was cold. And I walked that same walk. And yeah, it was pretty chilly because I parked right. out on the main street away from the stadium and that was a cold walk yeah but but they have zero parking yeah exactly at least we have the parking lot yeah they have so, not like it's yeah. built there's nothing there's like tiny little 25 yeah. spots in the front or something that well, are fun spot sure. of the street if you're lucky it's it's street only yeah isn't it like yeah pretty much yeah yeah so it's that i'm aware of i don't really know yeah i just kind of park on the main street along the rail yard there and yeah yeah. Hoof it. Yeah. So. Um, it just reminds me, there was a thing that came out. I don't know if it came, how I got got it, but it was uh, it was from the, some people, it was an email, a survey about 
Brandt Center in that area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've been promoting that on Facebook. Oh, okay, yeah. maybe that's I where we, I saw it. We got it through the Hockey League, too. So, Because I know our our team rep was like, okay, everybody fill this out because showers are cold all the time. Like, oh, we played at like they? 11 o'clock at night, and it's like you can't even get a warm shower after the game. Like It's so terrible. Like oh. It is atrocious. And like the lights, the one rink, half the lights are out. Like it's so dark in there. Oh. Like it's terrible. Like they can't even keep up maintenance. And they're like, oh, what should we build next? Well, so we all like, we just bombarded them with like, how about we just keep up the maintenance? Like, yeah. Fix what you got before you start going out and building new stuff. So. Oh, see, I didn't, as a, I mean, I don't play, so I didn't realize that. So I was looking at it from a different angle and then they're asking like what they could do or add or make it better for the community. And I, other than, I mean, I was said the Brand Center is not bad now, but it should maybe be on the five to ten year plan to be looking at something new. But I don't. Then, it, I mean, it always is the question of where it should be, just because we're talking about downtown stadiums and what's come up, and it always will come up until something happens. Is that area on Dudney? Um, yeah, the CP area across on by all the bars and stuff people wanted the football stadium there yeah apparently the stadium was potentially planned to go there that's what we always hear but you know hockey rink there would be because you get more volume with a hockey rink too right like you have 30 more games than you'd be playing yeah yeah football games and it wouldn't be as crazy but matt i don't know any logistics i haven't looked at it but if you could connect it to the casino, I think you had like this whole, you can go for drinks at Bushwhackers, go to the Pats game. Because yeah. right now you go to Pats game and it's like, re- there's nothing. It, yeah. There's the only nothing thing nice it. about it, like it's a great facility. Like I spent all day there on Saturday because I went to the Cougars game. Yeah. So I go watch the Cougars game and the cooperators. Then I go upstairs to Western Pizza, the only restaurant yeah. there. Yeah. And then had supper and then walked over to the Pats game and watched Pats game. Then I went walked back to cooperators, yeah. grabbed my gear, and went and played. So like it, it, is. it is a great facility. Like it's perfect for like when we had the Memorial Cup, they had all the stuff there. Yeah. You know. It's great for like true other things like that. But yeah, if you do move it somewhere else, it's gonna be they have to build something with it, right? Yeah. Like other facilities with it. Yeah, but which is a shame because then you're splitting up. Exactly. Right. And you, you basically need it to be like an expo center where you can hold conventions and crap like that. And they already, so they kind of already have that. So it would be. And now with them moving the football stadium there, they can do yeah. football related stuff in there. Like, yeah. But yeah, it, it just it is getting it's such tight. a big debate. It's getting tight now. I know too, they want right? to add more stuff to it. So. So and you're not going to tear down the Brandt Center. No. Right, you're gonna build in addition, so now you have another big building in that yeah. area that's getting tight as it is. Anyway, I didn't know about the problems of with it. Oh yeah, like the little things. Well, but. yeah, it's been open since what nine ten when we had the World Juniors. So yeah, it's, it's once you yeah since I'm there all the time, like it's yeah it definitely needs a little better upkeep. Definitely so, but yeah, because I don't know, and like. There's tournaments there every weekend. Like this weekend is a girls' yeah. hockey tournament. Like there's like 40, 50 teams there. Like every might, weekend there's big tournaments, ringette, hockey, yeah, you know, high-end tournaments too. I guess it's kind of a double-edged sword. It's nice to have everything consolidated, but now everything's consolidated. And it's like, it's always busy. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, we're getting into a little bit of city politics here, but <laughs> <laughs> a little bit out of our wheelhouse. But anything else you want to talk about this week? Uh, I don't think I think that's about it. Okay, yeah. we'll wrap it up. And uh, yeah, overall, not bad. Pretty, ha- I'm, I'm happy with the efforts. It'd be nice to have uh, been able to finish this one off against Medicine Hat tonight, but it is what it is. Um, I think if we can keep this effort up, we'll be we'll be okay. Like, we're not going to win a ton of games, but at least be some exciting hockey, some fun hockey to watch. So, Yeah, as long as we stay competitive, you know, yeah. see some effort. That's all we kind of ask for, right? Yeah. Because like, our skill level obviously isn't on par with the rest of the league. 
But as long as we see the effort there. And we've seen it for the majority of these three games, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's an opportunity for these younger guys to step up, get some... Some good ice time for the next couple of years. Absolutely. Like, right? They so. think the lessons and what they can learn this season will be just more in the bank for them for the next couple of years than for us. So, okay, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, three games this week. We'll be back next week to wrap those up and look forward to uh, going into Christmas here. Yeah, so, the last three games before Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we will, I guess we won't see you at the rink this, this week, but uh, we'll watch them for you and recap them for you. Okay? Good night. See you guys.